My mum was in the Royal Infirmary uh, for quite a number of years back and I, I saw one of my paintings hanging just outside the ward and I didn't know it was there so it was quite interesting to come across it and I thought, oh, it seemed like quite sort of fated, you know, that it was just right beside the ward. It was Zaragoza in Spain and I was amazed at how all the windows were different sizes and shapes. They were all quite higgledy-piggledy and it was quite sort of dilapidated as well and there were lots of interesting bits of crumbling stonework so I found I could get a lot of work into with a lot of detail and texture. My work's always been um, affected by going to different places. It's about places really, finding places that are like. I was born in Edinburgh and I went to school in Edinburgh and um, I think quite a lot of paintings I've been doing over the years have been in Edinburgh so it's run through as a thread through my work but alongside travels abroad and in other parts of Scotland. Only a few years ago I did a Masters at Glasgow School of Art. It was very interesting and uh, quite different because I did a research project on woodland and that's kind of affected the work I've been doing since. I went to Perthshire a couple, for two years in a row and a lot of the more recent paintings have been from there, you know, because Perthshire's got a lovely woodland and then the, the recurring theme of the teepee in the woods and different other elements of the dwellings or man-made things like the gate in the woods. and. Um, Alongside that, in tandem with that, I've been working on some more urban paintings from Edinburgh and Prague. And I've been doing quite a lot of drawings, and especially out of my studio window. I keep finding interesting little areas out of the window. Uh, this sketchbook's from um, a few years ago, and th these are all of woodland, uh, mainly from um, Edinburgh, like the Hermitage and um, the Water of Leith, and sometimes by the canal, some of them, uh, Union Canal, and um, so it's little bits of portions of looking through along pathways. So it's sort of like catching people in the gardens, like that and the chimney. And now there's quite a few that have done a series of the window, from the window, somebody's standing waiting with bags to go somewhere. Right? And I've done some bigger ones as well, but that's the bottom of the chimney with the cars. Well, it's just cars parked outside and the traffic car, which is still there. I'm quite interested in finding little uh, areas of the landscape and I'm not really generally not attracted to big vistas, you know, with, and I tend to like to find little corners that are a bit intriguing and maybe have a bit of mystery about them. You're, you're wondering, there's sort of something not quite, I don't like things being really spelt out. The composition is the most important thing for me. I see something that I've got to feel it's right, the, the composition of the shapes and the colours and everything, and focal points. So it's composition is very much driving what I do. I think I'm quite interested in the idea of being lo getting lost in a painting as well. And I'm teaching a lot of classes, I do a lot of workshops and classes, and I think that helps me with my own work. But also equally, it's, I'm aware of how other people feel when they come to classes and they talk about, oh, it just it makes you forget about everything, all your worries and the day-to-day -day stuff. Um, and uh, it, it gives you a bit of somewhere to go. It's like somewhere to go in your mind where you can have a bit of respite from all the you know, ups and downs of life, I suppose. I feel the same way about my own work. It has really helped me a lot when there's, I've had any problems you know, and difficulties in my own life. I think it's very valuable.